What is going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys how to find the uh, crow key for Resident Evil 7. So basically the first thing that you'll have to have is that spider uh, the concrete block to open the door. So you'll have to match it up on a picture. Once you're on the other side, you'll want to go back over to that hole that Mia was drugged through from, uh, what was her name? I think it was Marguerite, I believe. If you crawl down in there, towards the very back, you'll find that crankshaft. Once you find that crankshaft, you'll just take it back up to the top. And that little pulley system that's right there next to the water, you'll just want to place it on there. And then once you have it placed on there, he'll start turning the pulley system and it will bring a drawbridge up. So once you get the drawbridge up, you'll want to run back over to the old house area. And you'll go towards the back where you found the flamethrower parts. I'm assuming you guys have the flamethrower. If not, check out one of my other videos. I made a video on how to make the flamethrower. So once you get to the back there, you'll want to kill off those bugs right there with the flamethrower. There will be another pulley system, and you'll just place the crank on the pulley system, and it'll raise the other drawbridge. Once you get the drawbridge up, you'll go across into the building. And once you get, walk into the building, there's a chest on the left side, and that's where the key is. And once you get the key, you'll want to take that back to the door that has the double-headed crow on it. Once you get to the door, as you can see, Marguerite grabs you and throws you down the stairs, and then you'll end up falling in a hole. So, I mean, at this point, you just want to take your flamethrower out and just start flaming her. And then she'll eventually fall in the hole with you, you know, climb out, and then you're able to open the door. 